Tonight, the ongoing battle to extinguish this massive cargo ship fire that's claimed the lives of two firefighters. The 12-story, nearly 700-foot-long ship docked at Port Newark, carrying potentially thousands of vehicles and more than 150 containers. There's a bunch of vehicles on this ship, and it's on fire. Just before 9.30 last night, workers on the 10th deck were moving some of the cars when the flames broke out. Newark firefighters racing to the scene as it quickly spread up to the top two decks of the ship. You got heavy water on the top floor now, extremely hot. Then at 10.25... You got a firefighter that's on the floor where they went in, he needs air. The first mayday call and then the second. Two department veterans trapped between cars, the fire out of control. Their fellow firefighters risking their own lives to try to save them. Firefighter Brooks and Firefighter Ackerbold, you can hear this. Activate your panic alarm button. This is headquarters. It would take more than two hours to evacuate Augusto Akabu. We found a firefighter. We need help. And another two to get to Wayne Brooks. He's still wedged between the cars. Both men, pronounced dead at the hospital, hailed as heroes. Five other firefighters injured. We just lost two of our best here in the city of Newark. Newark's fire chief praising his team that had never trained for a fire on a ship quite like this. It's definitely a, a, a different structure, a different type of fight, firefighting. In a statement tonight, the Italian company that owns the ship says it will undertake a full investigation and cooperate with authorities to determine the cause of the fire and that their thoughts, prayers and sympathies are with the families of the fallen firefighters. And as you can see, firefighters are still pouring all this water up onto the ship. They actually have to periodically take breaks because all those gallons of water add up. The weight of it could actually cause the ship to tilt or to list. There is still no timeline for when this fire is going to be fully extinguished. It could continue burning for days.